Okay, my friends, here is a long overdue, long promised video. Um, I'm just going to show you where all the storage areas and a quick walkthrough of our beautiful 330 Sundancer Sea Ray 1998 330 Sundancer. And uh, just to show you what is what on this boat, because I know there's a lot of people who are in the market, and I know myself, and we're looking at boats, always have. You look at listings and you just say, oh, I wonder, wait, show me, the, don't, <laughs> move the camera too fast. So I'm just going to do a real quick walk through this boat and show you why Sea Rays are renowned for their storage. So we are going to start at the very back of the boat. Again, this is a 1998 model year Sea Ray 330 Sundancer. And uh, we've had it now. This is our fifth season. We've had it four years. It's our fifth season. Love it immensely. And I just want to show you uh, what it looks like empty. And you're going to say, why is it empty if we own this boat? Because by the time this video goes live, um, it will have been sold. So um, we got a deal happening uh, this weekend should be closing this weekend so now that all of our personal junk is out of the way it's going to give you a better view of uh, what the storage areas are like so like I say we're going to start back here on the port side aft section this little doohickey is serves two purposes first of all there's storage back there and this is a step for stepping over to the side of the boat if you want to embark or disembark from here which oh, I use often when I'm working on the boat when the engine hatch is open so that just closes away like that um, we generally keep our uh, propane bottles and a whole bunch of you know outdoor knick-knacky stuff now moving forward a little bit we have at the wet bar and let's let's back up again this is a what C Ray calls a wet bar because we have cold only running water here there's a little uh, storage container here. This is actually an ice box because there is a, a drain in here. So it's an insulated box. But again, we always generally just use that for storage because it's very convenient for everyday stuff that we have to get at. Uh, down below that is another storage cuddy. As you can see, not only is it good for storage, but it's good for installing things. So coming back around to the aft facing bench seat, we got even more storage here. I'm just gonna pull this cushion right out of the way. And under that cushion is not only storage, but it's also where the battery switches are housed. So we got two uh, switches, one for the port side, which is house batteries in the port side starting engine, and then the starboard side. And there's you know more storage and this also adds um, allows access that panel flips open I'm not going to do it right now because the hoses are in the way and it's really hot and sweaty out so take my word for it that opens up and the uh, starboard side starting battery starboard side engine starting battery as well as the generator starting battery are housed under there now on the backrest of the seat this center section folds down it's hinged a little squeaky because it's very humid out today lots of storage in here um, this is a great spot we put our when we're going away our shore power cable as well as all of our life jackets and a few uh, spare lines as well dock lines so that closes up now over onto this side on the starboard side behind the table and I'm not gonna remove it but again take my word for it this cushion and then the there's a fiberglass panel that drops in under it which forms an L shaped or sorry a C shaped horseshoe shaped seat there's another storage area there which is about the same size as the one that you saw on the port side now swinging back to this wet bar um, what bar would be complete without a fridge oh we got to take those stickers off too so this is an ac dc fridge 
and it works fantabulously and uh, I know for a fact that that fridge holds 26 bottles of Corona, Corona Light specifically, plus a few uh, drinks on the side, on the doors. Ask me how I know. <laughs> that hides away like that. Then uh, continuing on in front of that, there's a companion seat ahead of this wet bar section and behind that. This doesn't open, of course, because the fridge is down below that permanently mounted. But there's this little storage compartment here as well. A little bit more room. I put my uh, cleaning stuff in there. And this also offers access to the port side uh, fuel tank sender. And if you don't believe me, look down to my uh, How I Did It Bolt Repairs and Upgrades uh, playlist because I have a video of me struggling to put that sender in. Now moving back forward, we have the helm. There's no um, measurable storage here other than just a little cutty on the uh, starboard side beside the captain. There's a little uh, cup holder there and just enough room. I generally throw the uh, covers for the uh, chart plotter and whatever else in there just temporarily while we're driving. There's not a low, whole lot of room in there. It'd be a good spot if you had uh, binoculars or bottle opener, for example, or something like that, or in a little air horn like we have. So that fits in there. Okay, now down into the cabin where we have tons more room. Sliding door, obviously. Step down into this beautifully air conditioned space. As I mentioned, it is very warm. It's a super hot day. This is, I'm filming in real time. This is uh, mid end of August, 2021. There we go. So I turned off the air conditioner so it's not too, too loud. Um, let's uh, start here. Galley on the port side of the boat. We have a fridge, which is a, you know, a little bit bigger. This is not quite a three quarter fridge, but it's bigger, of course, than that little compact one that we have down in the cockpit. And it serves our purposes very well. Oh, look at that. There's some of those Corona lights that I mentioned earlier, just in case uh, we want to do some celebrating tomorrow. Um, so yeah, ice box on top, and uh, we can stow enough food in here, in the freezer for five days worth of meat keeping frozen, and all the food stays in here, and of course the beverages generally go in the back. It's just that right now they're here today because this was uh, all um, defrosted yesterday. And again, this is an AC DC fridge, which means it's running on short power currently, but it will automatically click over to battery power when we're not hooked to shore power okay looking uh, somewhat aftward into the uh, galley there is the main panel here for all of our AC shore power circuits and DC battery circuits here and ignition switches and that are there too so we had a microwave here there is a brilliant storage space which is quite deep i'd say that's uh you know probably two feet deep and again we generally just put food in there uh, non-perishable food goes in there nicely and like i say we can uh, store a lot in there we often travel with this boat for weeks at a time and it's important to have lots of food because i like to eat and then on top of there we have this nice deep shelf that runs all the way to the back wall got a little porthole window there an opening porthole window which we generally always keep these curtains closed because in the summertime it's hot and the sun comes beating in here and uh, so it just makes the air conditioner work a little bit harder so forward of that we have a two burner electric stove electric only no uh, gas or alcohol another storage compartment in here this one is always open there's no door uh, it didn't come from the factory it came just open that's just your everyday stuff quick access here we have some decent sized upper cabinets uh, we put all of our plates and bowls coffee cups drinking glasses out of plastic so technically they're drinking plastics <laughs> but like I say we can put enough in there more than enough, uh, storage for that uh, behind the sink little trash receptacle which I find very handy very convenient a decent sized sink this is not just one of those little bird bath sinks so it's a, it's a really good size and yeah it works well hot and cold running water of course um, down below the sink 
we have a decent size storage cabinet and we generally put uh, cleaning supplies under there like inside cleaning supplies dish detergent and whatnot um, if you notice I didn't unsnap any of those doors we usually leave them open and they never fly open when we're underway even in the roughest weather we've never had that occur to us however this one we keep latched because uh, again if you follow my channel you will know we have had for the last two years our little kitty cat our little tiny corona with us and we don't want him getting into that and we have two young granddaughters we don't need them walking in there either so we keep that one latched um, then we have a bank of three drawers really good size for dishes whatever else <laughs> goes in there that's not really my department now we are going to move forward so right up to the bow of the boat we have a sideways facing bed now this is a wide format camera lens trust me this is tons of room this is that's almost eight feet from the peak back down to here with the feet if you don't believe me look at again in my how I did it uh, video of um, when we got custom made sheets and bedding for this and I'll give you a really good idea of how big it is so it's really nice size and uh, it works for us now or uh, sorry I should say at least it has worked for us on this boat again the boat is sold uh, from the factory this boat would have come equipped with a 13 inch TV VCR and if you're really lucky TV DVD player, but I think this one was a VCR just given the vintage of the boat, which is long gone. It was gone before we bought the boat. So we generally have a uh, just a basket in there for bottles, use your imagination, and munchies, chips, cheesies, and whatnot. Use, use, again, use your imagination. Under here, lots of storage here. We put I don't know, towels, spare blankets, and whatever else. And I, again, apologize for the squeaks, but it is because it is a humid day. And it goes open. So we have a full-size hanging locker on that side. Over here on the starboard side, we have another decent hanging locker, which works well. I always have too much clothes, <laughs> too many articles of clothes on the boat. And then just swinging around again, we have, uh, like I said, the bed. If you want to, and I'm going to refer to it again, just look at my entire how I did it boat repairs and upgrades uh, playlist there's well over 80 maybe 90 I can't remember of all different projects that I've done on not only this boat but our prior boat which was a much larger Sea Ray 400 sedan bridge so what I'm referring to in this instance right now we had this combing redone because from the factory remember late 90s it was big poofy that was the style and so we had that cut back and reupholstered so it's all nice neat and new i'm not going to climb up there but you're going to just take my word for it that those panels that one slides open and that one slides open and there's storage you know from side to side pretty much there and it's probably about a foot deep so it's decent storage we put extra um, paper towels um, toiletry type of stuff up there dry stuff uh, just keep it out of the way and then back to here we have sorry that's some of those custom sheet spitting that I was talking about earlier we have uh, two port holes on the starboard side and one on the or yeah and one on the uh, port side uh, like I said about the uh, curtains we keep those generally closed same with that just like I said keep the Sun and keep the heat out of here because it does get warm remember it's a boat and there's zero insulation so uh, the heat really comes through and that's why we have to have the air running when we can okay so coming off the bed on the starboard side this cushion comes out revealing again a really good amount of storage that's probably 12 inches deep by I don't know 18 20 inches uh, wide by about 16 18 inches deep I would suggest Uh, underneath here this is fantabulous I'm gonna come back to the V birth in just a second but I want to show you this um, I make use of all the spare space or all the storage space on this boat and so underneath the settee we or couch whatever you want to call that there are these sliding doors which open to reveal all that depth as deep as this couch is 
and I put my uh, my everyday tools in there, like work tools, screwdrivers, wrenches, on and on and on. Yes, I come fully equipped with our boats in case there's an issue. I can fix it on the fly, on the run, wherever we are. Now these seats will come out completely if you want. They just pull out. I have to take the table out to do that, so I'm not going to do that. Otherwise, they hit. Um, but like I say, trust me that they do because this can pull out and filler cushions go in here as well to make a uh, double wide bed here. And I still have more stuff stored behind there. Spare parts, impellers, water pumps, you name it. I like to carry it with me just in case. Now, along the center line of the boat is more storage in the floor. And like I say, I use this for tools, spares and whatnot. And underneath there is the shower sump pump. So that will collect the water uh, from the shower and pump it overboard as well as you can see that white line is a condensate line from the air conditioning. And then a little bit farther forward is another in floor storage area. And this one I generally use for my electrical supplies, both AC, DC, AC and DC I should say. Uh, wires, looms, butt connectors, shrink wrap, heat shrink, you name it. I generally travel with it because you never know. And that just goes back in there nicely. Yoink. Moving back towards the aft cabin or mid cabin, you choose your flavor. Uh, these stairs you'll notice are all open. However, this one on the bottom is solid, but look at that, ta-da, to reveal more storage. And as you can see, we keep our, um, our central vac hose in there. Yes, this boat is equipped with central vac, and that unit is under this uh, dinette chair. You can see there's the uh, outlet for it right there. And yes, we use it all the time. Couldn't be without air conditioning, and anchor girl couldn't be without <laughs> central vac on the boat. So looking like I say back to the aft cabin, mid cabin, whatever you want to talk, call it. There's a little cabinet here with a decent sized drawer and then a uh, half shrunk cabinet. Because remember the V of the hall starts going up there so it's not too, too deep. And uh, there is a uh, wardrobe cabinet here, which I generally have to slide the uh, TV out of the way, but it's, it's on one of those arms I'm not gonna do that for you right now just you know take my word for it look down the aft cabin we have uh, no storage on the starboard side or the aft part because the water freshwater tank is runs across there and I don't know what's there but it's solid you can't get at it however on the port side this cushion comes out and I'm not gonna do that either because there's uh, life jackets and whatnot on there. And you can see there's a few, there's three filler cushions. There are uh, two brackets that come across here. You can see where they set into. And then those uh, filler cushions set in there. So that makes this a full, you know, a double wide bed, whatever you wanna call it. It will accommodate two adults and a small child because I know that for a fact. And then up here, again, on the starboard side, there is a cabinet, which is, you know, not too bad. Like I say, we'll put uh, dry goods in there and that will close off if you want to. And this is also access to the starboard side fuel tank sender, uh, which I haven't done, but that's what I've learned where it is. Okay. Now, there is the head. So this is what is called a wet head. And not the guy in the Brill Cream commercials from back in the 70s, <laughs> if you know what I'm talking about. But what that refers to is, this is all fiberglass, like one piece. And so one can have a shower in here. And if everything gets wet, it doesn't matter. You just have to wipe it down. But once again, let's go back to my uh, how I did it. Uh, playlist and you'll see where I made this custom shower curtain track that runs all the way around so we can close this area off 
have a shower so the water just uh, just stays in this area so the vanity and the toilet don't get wet. We, and when we're done we just have to wipe down the floor in this lower section of wall where the water splatters but everything else stays nicely dry. So we have here some under sink storage, toilet paper roll obviously. And back here behind the sink is more storage. And that uh, that arm will go up into that receptacle up there so you can have a shower from there and that window opens of course and we have a light up here LED. so last but not least I'm just gonna show you real quick I'm gonna pull these cushions out and show you what the storage is like under here because it is quite sizable so I've removed the uh, cushions and just just for point of reference this is about four inches thick and I had uh, the filler material the uh, foam replaced at the beginning of the season and it really helped a lot because remember the boats 98 it's 2021 so the boat is 23 years old that had just compressed too much over the years so new foam um, and it, it works great more comfortable so I'm just going to show you real quick what this looks like under here it's going to be more echoey because the cushions got oh big panel look at that tons of room down there now that is right at the V of the boat the very front pointy part of the boat and so I would suggest you're going to store anything down there don't put stuff heavy or metallic that could potentially go boom through the waves and start crashing and booming and banging if you do put a towel down first that's that's what i've always done at the v at the boat and here let me just get these out of the way so these two cushions or sorry cushions uh, panels remove and this allows one access down to the uh, air conditioning unit the reverse cycle heating and air conditioning unit heating and cooling unit and then on this side is simply open storage, wide open. Okay, and that is the outlet for the reverse cycle heat in there. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, the air conditioning heating unit works on this boat. It works as a heat pump, so it draws water out of the lake from the back of the boat through the compressor that does its magical magic and then exits the water that comes out uh, just spews over the side of the boat so if you're walking if you're new to boating and you're walking down a dock in the summertime and you see a boat that has huge streams of water coming out the side uh, don't be frightened the boat's probably not sinking it's probably not a bilge pump more than likely the air conditioner just mention it to the boat owner if you find them just see what they have to say about that yeah, so that's it. That is my walkthrough of this 98 Sea Ray 330 Sundancer. Um, hopefully, if you're in the market or you're looking at one of these boats, you will have a little bit better, clearer understanding of where everything is. Apart from the engines, but they're in the back. <laughs> yeah, so that's it. Hopefully that helped you, and I will look forward to your comments, and I will see you on the next one, my friends. Cheers.